back YouTube. Guys, today we're doing another kayak fishing video. We're out here on Big Piney River in Missouri and we're gonna be doing some early morning kayak fishing. We're gonna be hitting up those same rapids that we've been kind of bank fishing around. But guys, today, hopefully we can get closer and get to the other side of the river where I think the big ones are stacked up. So guys, today we're gonna be focusing once again on Ned rigs and those tubes show you how to fish those effectively. Yesterday I shot a video on how to bank fish and some of the tips and tricks that I use to target those smallmouth. And today it's gonna be the same thing, we're just doing it from the kayak, guys. I'm gonna show you kind of the things I'm looking for. And the next video that I plan on doing is actually getting on Google Maps and showing you guys how to locate areas that would be really good for smallmouth. So stick around for that one as well. And guys, let's get into this video. Alright, so we got out a little early today. Well, I guess we kind of do that every day. But it's like 5.30, just a little past daylight here. Because we've been getting out here so early, I can't even shoot an intro video because it's so dark half the time. So, you know, I was breaking down that video yesterday and saying, you know, the majority of the smallies are going to be close to that current and that is true but that's not saying you can't find them out here in these calmer areas now one of my biggest smallmouth i actually caught and it wasn't even close to current so you know it doesn't happen like that every single time it's just you know using that current to your advantage to locate the fish is kind of the best option for me. There we go. Can't tell if that's a good one or not. It's pretty good. Oh yeah. Look at that, he hammered that tube. Hammered the tube, boys. brought the net today, but we didn't end up using it. I just about did. All right, I'm gonna measure this thing. Almost 14. So, he's got some growing to do. All right, look at that thing. It's a pretty nice one. I'd say he's close to two pounds. All right, boy hammered that tube. Old green pumpkin. All right, beautiful fish. All right, let's get him back in the water. Let's get reset back up here. Kind of want to fish down the left side still. I want to kind of get closer to the bank over there. I've been kind of fo focusing on the rocks right up here because those are just natural current breaks. I mean, that's just kind of the first point of interest that I kind of saw and it stood out to me. I'm telling you, they are going to be stacked up where that current meets where there's no current. Okay. or. Fishing those natural current breaks, man, telling you, you do that, you are gonna get on them. I can promise you. Because I used to pretty much strictly fish largemouth. And then I just started targeting any smallmouth, and I'm like, holy crap. They are so fun to catch. Literally, I think after I caught my first, maybe after I caught that personal best, smallmouth is kind of when I started like, hey, these, these fish are pretty cool. Before that, I didn't really, didn't really care about smallies, I guess. So that kind of lit a fire under me to actually start targeting them a little bit more. There we go. 
I think this was the little one that we had. <laughs> yeah, he was, he's hungry. All right, buddy. All right. It's number two, I think. I don't know. I lose count, guys. <laughs> I just like coming out here and fishing. All right. Once again, he's kind of, he might be a pound. All right. I still think we might get to use this tube one more time. Because these, these tubes do get pretty expensive. I mean, like most tackle and stuff. It's kind of kind of expensive, so I try to preserve them as best as I can. Let's see. Because I want to get a pair of waders. That way, you know, I have very limited time to fish because, you know, I don't want to take away from family time and things like that. Work, you know, is also, you know, it takes up a lot of time. So anytime I do have, you know, usually I'm out here in my uniform. So I'm trying to get a pair of waders. That way I can literally throw over my uniform. There we go. We got to sit. Is this a good one? No, it's just a little one. Right, buddy you are you might be the toughest fighter we've had all day he did uh he did not want to be in the boat that one is pretty though that one's got that nice solid color to it another little one pounder though all right so right now i'm gonna show you how to rig the stupid tube or goofy tube whatever you want to call it so right here i have the goofy tube jig head Let's see if it'll focus all right it's an extra wide gap hook 60 degree eye on that lead head i'm going to pick out my bait of choice let's see let's go with this green pumpkin with uh, the gold flake strike king coffee tube all i'm doing is inserting the hook into the bottom I'm gonna come out about, I don't know, a thumbnail length up. I'm gonna pull that all the way through. And guys, these coffee tubes are a little, uh, they're thin in diameter, so that tube is probably gonna poke out the back. That is okay. This is the part that you're really worried about when it comes through because you got all of this to kind of keep that lead head from pulling through. All right, I'm gonna line that up with the center of that bait. And I'm gonna kind of just Stick that through just like I would a Texas rig. And then you can tech expose that, meaning you're gonna bury the tip of the hook into the soft plastic itself. And then you just tie the thing on. All right, so we're back down here under the bridge. Something might have hit it early on. Wasn't too, wasn't too strong. It's probably a really small fish. Or it was a gar. Those gar, like I've said in previous videos, they'll pick the bait up, but their mouths are so thin because they're just little spotted gar. There we go. Oh, it's just teeny thing. <laughs> Little bitty bass. That might be a rock bass, I can't even tell. Look at that. Everybody get back out to the water. There must have been another one that followed it up because it literally followed it straight up to the bank here. <laughs> oh my gosh. So if you were wondering what that Ned lock looks like, there it is. So it's got the Ned head and it's just got that extra wide gap hook and it's got a hook keeper. This is what we're working with, PB&J, TRD, Last Tech Bait, by Z-Man. There we go. That's a good one too. That one feels like a really good fish. Come on. Oh, snap, that is a good one. 
That is a really good smallie. That is a tank right here, guys. Holy snap. Good God. Uh, that's a freaking horse, guys. That is a horse. He choked this freaking Ned rig. All right, let's get him over. Let me get some pictures with him. He is a beast. Got it right here. He is 18 on the money. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. He is a freaking tank, guys, of a fish. All right, he is gone. All right. Another five pounder in the books, guys. Freaking, he was 4.6. He was a freaking tank. Tank status all the freaking way. Can't even believe it, guys. So that is the second right at five pounder that I've pulled out of here. Guys, this rod performed super good. This Ozark trail spinning reel performed crazy, crazy good, guys. That is just ridiculous. Pulled in that five pounder, man. That is just nuts. I knew there was one in here stacked up somewhere. It's just been a while since I've been on one like that. That thing was fighting good. Hopefully that was in in the camera's range. It's kind of hard when you're fighting a fish to get it all in there, and especially in the phone. The phone zooms in too much. All right, so uh, in the future, I would like to have you know a GoPro to where I can film a lot easier. The view is a little bit wider. I think it'd be a little bit better, but man, I tell you, just being able to come out here and catch some of these is just awesome. I couldn't ask for more. So guys, last night we hit over 500 subscribers. I just wanna thank every single one of you that have been supportive, that subscribed to the channel, that is active on the channel. Guys, thank you so much. You guys have literally, made this hobby and this uh, getting into YouTube just that much better and that much more worthwhile. Appreciate everything. And we're gonna be doing that giveaway video for the Casking sunglasses or those Pissafun fishing pliers. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm gonna film that video tonight, get it out there, pick that winner on our random comment generator. And we're gonna get that prize out to that lucky winner. So definitely, Keep an eye out for that video. Guys, we still have a little bit of time. It's only been an hour and we've caught five fish, one with that five pounder. Man, it is a freaking tank. And speaking of tank, I think I'm gonna make some t-shirts. I'm gonna come out with a merch line and actually come out with some t-shirts that have slogans like that on it. Like it's a tank, uh, maybe some other ones that keep it blue collar, different things of that nature oh you can definitely tell a difference oh yeah we got we got us a little one right here that's six so they're biting i'm surprised you i'm surprised you hasn't got eight by a bass yet look at that his jaws are really small. He takes small jaw to a whole new level. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel, and definitely turn on that notification bell that you know, lets you know when I'm posting other videos like this. And hopefully you guys have been enjoying these small mouth fishing videos. I 
freaking love the smallies now, kind of got away from the largemouth. And, you know, I'm just really taking advantage of the place I have here, trying to catch as many as possible. And guys, today, hopefully you guys seen it in the video, watched it all the way through. We caught our second almost five pounder out of the same hole, okay? Definitely wasn't the same one. The first one I got was 4.73, and then this one was 4.65. And man, I really got surprised. And we caught it on the Ned rig this time, the peanut butter and jelly Ned rig. All right, so hopefully you found this interesting, fishing tubes and the Ned rigs. We started out in the kayak. So, I mean, it didn't last too long because, you know, the area I was in, I wanted more, I wanted to fish from the bank, so we kind of had to move up. And then we didn't catch anything from there, so we ended up moving up here to underneath the bridge and the spillway. Definitely concentrating on those oxygen-rich water sources, and definitely use that slogan to your advantage, guys. You find the current, you find the fish, and guys, until next time, keep it blue collar.